Okay, so here we are, ready to play Jack and Daxter The Precursor Legacy. This is my first Let's Play video, so hopefully it'll go off without a hitch. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is muck around with some settings. Just to make sure it's all nice for ourselves. Now, here we go, something to enjoy. This is going to set the stage for the kind of things we'll be looking at for the rest of the game. Basically, lots of amusement at the expense of the little rat, the Daxter. And bright colours. Can't forget the bright colours. Okay, so... Options. The input device that I'm using, for whatever reason, is not going to enjoy... Uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so we're going to go for 4 by 3 video mode. Um, most of you are going to go to one. Go the 60 hertz because everything's in 60 hertz these days. Don't need to center the screen. Game options. Normally I'd play with the play hints off, but they're going to explain a fair bit for me, so I don't have to. So I'm going to leave them on. Vibrations are oh, such fun. We'll leave them on. Um, that, um, the sound options, but, you know, the default's always nice. Anyway, we have some load games that we can go off. But, as this is the start, we're going to start from the start. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. And here is Jack. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of and my Someone guidance. I will remain unnamed And why would he moment. want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Ego, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, all green stuff told us You'll not begin to come to here. appreciate that this is quite a long introduction scene. It's gonna take the majority of the first video. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. So we've got a guy with health issues, and we've got a girl with two tits that are very perfectly separated. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. I don't really feel his voice suits. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! Whoa. How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! That is actually fairly important right there. The fact that that lit up for Jack. We'll get into that later. Man, that stung! 
I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! What? Here's the Dax we were expecting. <laughs> and there he goes screaming. Okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, no, you're not. Animations here for Samus are really interesting. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding fingers. my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you going to keep yapping or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far nice to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very For those moment. of you interested in filmography, is this is called exposition. Heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! And now the game proper actually begins. So, that was quite entertaining. Gives you a bit of an insight into each of the main characters. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. And here is how we're going to be enjoying the game. We're in control of Jack for the entire game in this particular instance, and he is a nimble little fellow. Um, so the first thing that we're coming across here is some green eco. Uh, this is basically a health meter in this game. It's fairly standard for a platformer, or at least for an early platformer. Um, in so far as you've got a number of hits rather than a numeric These value. floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. And the stamp collected on. This is basically the premise for Jack and Daxter, the precursor legacy. Um, you're gonna spend most of the game uh, collecting, collecting bees, collecting those particular boxes over there, and these things. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your a grab zoomer. He's saving, ruining the first little dance for us, but there you go. You're going to get to enjoy one of those little dance animations every single time you get a power set. 